I'm Romero Brito. I'm here in the heart of Wynwood, and I came here about 30 years ago. This place had evolved so much since arriving here. There was moments that it would be just like this, but let's say like midday, nobody, no cars, nothing. And there was no stores, there was, you know, and I got this place in here, my studio, which start from this building here all the way to the other side. It's almost an entire block here in Wynwood. So I've been here for about 30 years. You know, I came so many days in here, from early in the morning to late in the afternoon. Sometimes was day, and when I left was night. So I want to give you a tour of this studio because very soon I'm gonna be going to another location that's gonna be like a few minutes from here and it's fantastic and I'm really excited about leaving. Welcome to my studio. So here's where every day I walk in through this door and uh, for me it's always a, a reason for happiness to see you know, photographs on the wall, things that I love, like this piece of furniture, here's the oldest piece of furniture I ever owned, and I, when I got it, I, I was like in love with it. It's an American Empire, 1800s, late 1800s. Then there's pictures there of some of the work that I've done, you know, like uh, replicas of works that I've done in newspapers, which was, you know, the beginning of my journey here in US. I did, I did a lot of work on newspaper and I sold in the streets of Miami. We use this room in here mostly when we have guests and then they sit in here and then we have conversation. But there's you know photographs all over the walls like this one here. It was a beautiful afternoon that all the children and grandchildren of Carlos Lim came to paint with me. We create this beautiful painting for his birthday and uh, and there was a book being made. It was a fantastic. It was amazing uh, and Mr. Slim loves very much that. So there's pictures here with me and Paloma Picasso, the daughter of Paolo Picasso, the a note, a letter from the Queen of England and then there's a picture here with Columba Bush. My first trip to Mexico I was invited by Columba Bush, she was the first lady of Florida and here there's more picture with us you know in Tallahassee with the governor Carlos Slim and and the president of Spain at that time, and a picture of my mom here, my mother. And there's a picture of this amazing car here that Bentley got in touch with the gallery that handled my work in Germany, and asked if I would paint one of their concept cars, which was the Bentley GT, the launch of the car. And then I say, yes, I do it. And the car was sold in an auction, and we raised tons of money for charities. And then not too long ago, the, the collector who bought the car sold back to Bentley. So I'm really happy that the car is back to Bentley. And here you can see pictures, you know, when I was in Israel, I was invited by the president at that time, Shimon Peres, and pictures of, you know, my collaboration with Coca-Cola. I did so many things with Coca-Cola throughout the years. As a matter of fact, the chairman of Coca-Cola, a month before he retired, he came to paint with me, you know, and it was Mutakant, he's a really special human being. And you see here pictures, uh, this picture here of one of my sculptures in Mexico. It's the only sculpture that I've done in concrete, covered all in glass. So as we keep it going here, this became like, first was my studio and turned into studio plus a little bit of office and then office warehouse and warehouse frame shop, shipping. So now it's a whole, everything happened right here in this building. Here, um, when um, the president at that time had the show The Apprentice and I was part of The Apprentice, it was a picture taken at that time and a part of the video and uh, you know the team that I was part of it, they won the whole uh, competition you know. And here was I was invited to see the Pope in Rome and the Vatican and uh, a picture between the Pope, Prince Charles is with Paulo Coelho laughing. But the reason that uh, the Prince is laughing there as you can see there and I have my cell phone in my hand is because the Prince had said to me you know that you know he heard that I was with the Pope that week the same week that I was having dinner with him in Scotland and then I say yes your highness and look at the picture here on my phone and when I show the picture to him I say but Romero you're wearing the same clothes which I was wearing the same clothes when I went to see the Pope and then we start laughing which was amazing someone captured that moment and it's really memorable and very fun it was a great picture this is like a, a huge picture I have a show at the Carousel du Louvre this was outside and I asked them if I could have it and I got it and then we clean up and then we hang in here as like one of those momentos, historical momentos um, that I have in France. 
this is a very special photograph because Michel Roux was someone that gave me the biggest break of my life and he was the CEO of Absolute Vodka and he commissioned Andy Warhol, Keith Haring and so many other artists and he saw something in my art and he commissioned me to do that ad campaign, this amazing ad campaign for Absolute Vodka and my art it was in the eyes of millions of people in North America. So I'm forever grateful for Michel Roux. He passed away like about, you know, a few months ago and uh, this year, but he's in heavens and I'm sure that he has a huge space in there because he was very generous and he was really a wonderful human being. So thank you very much, Michel. And uh, so here we come to this room in here. This is a meeting room that we have meetings, design meetings, all kind of meetings, where there's also a very special thing here that I'd like to share with you, which is the the torch for the Olympics in Rio de Janeiro. You know, the Olympics had asked me to carry the torch and I was also the ambassador for the Olympics with Coca-Cola and I wore the whole outfit, you know, there with the Olympics and the shoes of Coca-Cola. And now we're gonna be going to the next room, which is the room where we have the graphic department. So come over, come along. Here on the hallway, you're gonna see fantastic pictures again. And there is a picture here of uh, my massive, you know, sculpture that I did for this billionaire from China. And he has a huge collection of my work. And he wanted to have the biggest sculpture um, of anybody in a private hands. So he commissioned me to do the pig. And this is his sign. And um, he's the founder of NetDragon, the largest video game in China. In 1998, um, the Walt Disney Art Classic, they did this launch of this beautiful um, portfolio of prints and they put my art on the cover. It was the spring of 1998, it was a piece that I titled Mickey from Head to Toe. And I was super honored that they select my art to be the cover of that collection. And uh, here's the graphic department and you can see pictures on the walls from Royal Caribbean when I did the entire deck of a ship, 25,000 square feet of the ship Mariner of the Seas to now my new collaboration with Carnival Cruise Ships and um, there we're doing a collaboration which is very spectacular selling items of my work on the ships and uh, so here there's a lot of prototypes of sculptures this table here is only prototypes and those chairs, those desks are seated used by graphic designers that does cleaning of my image you know they do vectorizing and they work with companies from around the globe when we do licensing project uh, and with their teams so uh, all the catalog of my work the cataloging are all made in this room i work with more than 200 galleries around the world and uh, my team work every day with them in being touched engaged with them and throughout the years i've been traveling to support and visit those galleries everywhere i did several paintings inspired on princess diana and i'm celebrating her 10th anniversary um, of her unfortunate death in paris and i did a show portrait of her beautiful ones with 10 pieces and all of them were sold and the proceeds went to Landmine Survivors Network and Princess Diana Memorial Fund. So here there is a very amazing, f I did this collaboration with Buzz Aldrin and uh, I was telling a little bit about his life, you know, through my paintings and, uh, and we did a show in New York City and um, all the pieces that I did inspired his journey to space, we did sell and all sold out and that one he signed to me through Romero, uh, space, the space artist. He, he titled me the space artist, which is amazing. I never even thought about that, but I'm the space artist. I guess we need to go to space to start, you know, like promoting there. Okay, here is pictures, you know, this I paint here with my best friend one day. We end up deciding about painting the floor of this place, which was a memorable, you know, time. And uh, me and Lucas, Dr. Vidal, and, uh, and then there's a picture of Elvis Presley here. The reason I have a closet in this studio is because I spent so many hours in here that one day one of my friends and supporters told me, Romero, are you leaving your studio? Because in my studio there was racks of clothes because every time I need to go to an event or a party or something, instead of to go to my house, I used to buy something in the neighborhood. 
And then I decided about making one of my spaces in here into a place where I could change my clothes like a closet and it became the closet. So there's things everywhere here and there's more pictures and the books, you know, I love books. I wish I could read more pictures of the queen here. And uh, there's autograph, photograph of the queen of England on 1967. It's signed by her. So yeah, I come over here, change my clothes. And there's, you know, my, I, I collect glasses. So there's glasses everywhere. Glasses, so much glasses. And then the list goes on of things. And my, all my shoes in here that I love. I had this incredible pair of shoes. Like this one here is only one pair of shoes done that Dolce Gabbana did for me. Isn't that beautiful? Only one in the world, this one. And now we're gonna be going to the print room. Please come over. So this room in here, we do all, I mean, we have another, uh, another room all the way to the end where the machines are. It's amazing machines that create this amazing um, process that's called, in French, Gicle. And, uh, and all the prints are proof in here and they embellish in here too. Look how beautiful is that. And uh, a friend and big collector by the name of Ezra Namad, he told me in a conversation in Israel that I should name this piece, not the last supper, but the first supper. Okay, here we are on the printing room where we do this beautiful gicle. Each one, each of the colors, color calibrated. Those machines are unbelievable and they're the best that technology can bring. Okay, here we gonna go to the office of my son. And that's his office in here. And he loves so much this picture. He said, Dad, I want that picture. And that picture was taken by an amazing photographer, friend of mine in London. And that's next to that's Barbie right there. And there is a picture here. We do several parties in the studio. And this is one of the, the big parties that we did. And it was for Dolce & Gabbana. Dolce & Gabbana, you know, did a dinner here in the studio for 50 of the special VIP clients and happened here. And it was a very memorable um, evening, very spectacular. Uh, and around the office, there's prototypes of all kind of things. Like this one here is a prototype, like a little replica of the pyramid in Hyde Park, and which was the largest art installation I have done, and, uh, and was also the largest art installation in the history of Hyde Park, 45 feet tall. It took me a year to do it. And these are like prototypes of Disney as well, the latest thing that I've done. And, uh, and the picture that, a copy of the picture I did of the Pope, the portrait. The Pope had blessed this picture, his own portrait. Here is leading to my studio, and there's a picture of this huge pyramid in Hyde Park, so people can have an idea how big it was with the size, the scale, and the trees, and the buildings. And this is in Speaker's Corner and in Hyde Park. Lots of people saw it. And this is the office of my assistant. And a picture of my son and I here in Carnival because Carnival, they did the homage to my work. More than 5,000 people dressed up, you know, wearing brittle, colorful designs inspired in my work. The Department of Motor, Motor Vehicles of Florida, they have a tag with Romero Brito's art, which is really also a reason for happiness when I'm driving and I see my art in a tag of somebody. I don't know who, but there's always a tag somewhere on the road with my art, which is really cool. And there's a picture here, the governor, the former governor of Florida, he was taking a gift for the president of Israel and he wanted to take something from Miami, from Florida that was very special and he asked me to do something and I did with a kippah, which the president immediately, President Shimon Peres, put in his head. And there's this fantastic chair that I got from the Yankees, is number one chair. As you can see here, number one, you see? They gave it to me as a gift and I also painted one for the Yankees charities. And they give to me this as a gift and a very beautiful piece of history. So now we're gonna be going to the kitchen. We do have in the studio two kitchens. When the first lady of California was here visiting me with the governor, Schwarzenegger, she loved, I always look into this wall and I remember someone being so in love with my wall. And she even asked me, Romero, is it that wallpaper? And I said to her, no, this is actually one heart at a time put on the wall. 
So somebody, I put somebody to put one heart at a time, one by one. And look how beautiful it looks. The hearts on the wall, amazing. And here we're gonna be getting to my studio. It's where a place I love the most, spent so many hours in here. I had this massive book of Annie Leibovitz. It's beautiful and signed to me and uh, for me. And the, the myth of Brazil, they did a coin, not only one, but three coins, one in gold, one in bronze and silver with my art on it, the myth of Brazil. For me, it's the highest honor is to have my work and uh, I honor to my art in a currency, which is fantastic. And then I did this for Montreal Jazz. And behind here, there's so many other more prototypes that's unbelievable, like too many, a lot, a lot, a lot. So this table is actually became like a piece of art by itself because it's like an installation. There's so many things that people give it to me as gifts. This table here, I do a lot of work. I create so many pieces over here. It's very, very special. I designed this table. And, um, and right now here, there's two pieces prototypes that are very special. This, I'm collaborating with Wilson, this amazing sports company uh, in the world, and look how beautiful this racket is gonna be. And uh, the other one is with Universal, Richie Richie. This is a prototype of a sculpture. We launched this year a print, which is doing super well, and now it's coming out a little sculpture, Richie Richie. So here's the area where all my assistants work and uh, the door usually are closed. And during the week, people are working in this room in here and there's a lot going on. Here, we're gonna be entering into the photo room. So this room in here is a photo room where we do photograph of all the work. The works also stay here until it's, it's the catalog and going to inventory galleries and collectors around the world. Yeah, here we're gonna go to see, it's like a little hallway, but it's like a mix of so many projects I did throughout the years, um, which so people can have an idea, some of my guests that come over, and Nick and Janet Arison coming here for years to paint, and here with the Bramers here. They were hosting my party when I, when I, when I made 25 years on Lincoln Road there. They were, they were one of the hosts of my party in, on Lincoln Road, the Bremen, Norman and Irman Bremen. This meeting room is really special because that table there, the president of Brazil sat in that chair there, and I'm gonna definitely keep this table here as a historical moment that happened in the studio. And uh, here's the inventory room, and uh, during the week, there's people here working, taking care of all my art, and there's more pictures and more pictures on the walls. This is the original inventory room. All the art that, you know, that I create is right here. Only originals, and it's really special. So I feel this energy right now. We can't even walk. So this is all original paintings and uh, sculptures and everything. And uh, I'm really excited about seeing them. But I can't wait to see them in people's home and galleries. That's always the hope of an artist. So this room in here is the inventory room for limited editions. So we, we, we keep in here all the limited editions and open editions like this beautiful one called the world, one world, I mean. And then this one here is called the hug. Look how beautiful is the hug. So they're all here and I'm gonna have to sign them and we store them sometime for a period of time and, uh, and sometime immediately they go to be shipped to a gallery or to a collector somewhere. The receiving room in here is a place where we receive items back and that we also ship things out of, from here. So this is the shipping department in here. We ship art around the globe, all from here. Here we are entering into the framing department. During the week, all the framers are here working, doing beautiful frames, each one handmade, 
Um, most of my frames are made in Italy and uh, they're all you know, amazingly put together here and all the machine, the cutting room, everything, the tables. So everything is one by one done. I hope you enjoyed the tour of the studio. It was so special to share with you and I can't wait to see you next time in the next studio. Please come to visit. You are more than welcome. Until then. <laughs>